right, so tomorrow's May 1st, so we wanted to get a little snapshot of what the garden looks like at the middle of spring here. So uh, let's come over this way and uh, we'll start with the new garden. Here we have uh, the thyme that's planted in there is not doing very well because it's not getting consistent water. Who would have thought you had to water in April in Humboldt County? But this year you do. Um, for Cosmias, we moved them over here, put them in a box so they can't spread and take over the world like they were doing over there. And uh, got a jasmine that's just now starting to put out new shoots. So there's hope for that. And this is one of my winter broccolis. You'll see a few of these here. I planted broccoli as a winter crop, and but I planted them too late. So they did absolutely nothing until now and they're making these weird broccolis um, so we're going to eat those very soon and then this is our geisha geisha gone wild a uh, beautiful little japanese maple this is her first year here so she'll be coming along and you will see carrots every here and there because that was another one of my winter crops that uh, did not do very well and here's another one, leeks. I planted them, of course, too late, so they're just now coming along here. I'd love, love to have that space for some spring plants, but we'll get it back soon. These peas, these are magenta sugar snap peas. Never grown them before, but they are growing like crazy. It's gonna be great. We'll, uh, I got high hopes for those. Kale was another one of my winter crops, so we have an abundance of kale. I don't know, uh, see these, these are doing much better. We just, we've been eating off of these lately. Um, and behind here is a row of blue sweet peas. A couple years ago, I bought one heirloom sweet pea plant that was blue and I saved the seeds and last year we had a couple of them and I saved the seeds and this year we got a lot of them. So I thought, in this new area, it would be nice to have just a wall of blue flowers. And here's some more winter broccoli. And there's a <laughs> rose back here. It's really sad. Yeah. There's, the <laughs> rose used to be in this back corner, and it did great. And it's bright red, and I loved it. So I brought it out here where it will be a little bit more uh, visible. Uh, it's going to be... It's gonna be great. You have and, glad stuck back there. Yeah, and there's, oh yeah, there's a couple of gladiolas here and there too. Um, these are green bunching onions and they, they're doing well. Again, it was a winter crop. And here we have our wisteria. This is its first year here and it's just now starting to make leaves. We gave it quite this uh, nice sturdy structure for it to grow on and uh, hopefully it'll take us up on the offer and. Uh, just fill in it's really nicely good. here. Yeah, it's doing great. Uh, we have Snapdragon left from last year. And we have our Tower of Jewels. Two, well, it's one plant. It had eight tops at one time, but they all broke off except these two. Um, this, is, this took three years for this to flower. And... Uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I mean, if it uh, makes babies, we'll probably try and keep one or two of them and have, have this again sometime. Here's my sunflower patch, and look at, they're doing great already. Um, I may have started them kind of early. And over here we have our mojito patch, I mean mint patch. <laughs> and uh, there's some blue potatoes and uh, some Yukons in there. These are cauliflowers, um, and I've put some summer squash in here, and we'll see, I don't know, it's turning yellow, so we'll see what happens. And of course, here's our abundance of kale, continuing. Um, I had a bunch of lettuce. Uh, some of this had been growing in the greenhouse, but I needed space, so I brought it out here, and immediately, and some of it were, a lot of them were little plants and immediately somebody, birds I think, ate it all. I mean, really just totally destroyed it. It's coming back now, but um, yeah, that was kind of disappointing. 
And then uh, I probably just put some cucumbers in there. Uh, what do you got? Oh, the horseradish is looking lovely. Uh, and this rose has had a real rust problem. And it seems like that's not so much of a problem today. A little, a little bit, bit yeah. But it's looking really good, though. Let's spray it again and see if we These can are looking good, too, up keep here. It. Oh, yeah, we got the snowballs and the uh, lilacs. They always bloom at the same time. Here's some more peas, just regular sugar, snaps, uh, onions, garlic. Uh, these sugar snaps over here I planted a long time ago and they did absolutely nothing. And um, the new ones are way ahead of them. Here's some glads that I moved most of the glads from here last year, but there's a few left and they're already up. We're about to get some fire pokers. Um, the uh, dahlias, dahlias are all coming up. Baby dahlias. Yep. And there's more over here. This one just, this one just came up. Oh, I thought maybe it was Somebody's one chewing it. Yeah, once they get going, the bugs can't yep. keep up. This one's not coming up, but this one is. This one still might still, and this thing is just in the way because this is the path. That's the but, blue. But at least we got shrimp something. Flower. And then here's a little iris, and there used to be freesias out here, but none of those happened this year. We had them last year, and, uh, and there's the big iris. But we'll go around the other side so we can see that. Everything's a little bit scraggly there's, still. There's a couple of lupins out in there, and I have a bigger one in the greenhouse that I'm probably right. going to bring out. And, uh, there, there used to be two lupins, and now I only see one. So yeah. who knows? The uh, dill doesn't look like it's doing very good. No, and there was something else you planted over here that I pulled up that was just dead. Uh, hmm. I think it might have been a... Oh, a cilantro. Cilantro, yeah. Yep. It's just gone. Hmm. Well, yeah, some things they have to struggle. I've got some snapdragons here. That one got its top lopped off. I'm not sure quite how. But uh, and then this is this whole path is new, and this has uh, fairy thyme, mm. and that's doing really well. So hopefully that'll all fill in. We got a marigold in the victory garden here. <laughs> Pokers are doing good. These had little birds hanging upside down from them yesterday. Oh, that's pretty. That's doing good. Chrysanthemum. Alyssum. And there's your chai flowers about to go crazy. Yeah. We'll be seeing those on salad soon. Here's that iris from this side where you can see it better. Nice big, big iris flowers. And then over here we have a few sweet peas they just grow up this side because there's nothing right inside the greenhouse right there um, these things uh, this is a new uh, thyme we'll see how that goes parsley seems to be holding up pretty yeah, well last year and this is the uh, thyme from last year and the strawberries are they're a little odd this year. We'll see what happens when they really get going. Uh, a couple more sweet peas back here. And then here's the uh, the big wall of the colorful sweet peas that I grow every year. So that'll be great. And we have a fennel, but it's growing in rocks and there's no way to dig the root out. So you can just use it for the leaves. So in the greenhouse, come on in. We have, it's a little messy because, you know, this is a workspace. There's the lupin that I'll probably bring outside. This ginger grew really well last year, but it didn't flower. It's a white ginger, which is a, one of my favorite flowers in Hawaii. Um, so I brought it in here to see what it does. I may or may, or may not move it outside later on in the season. The tomatoes are going. And more green bunching onions. 
And over here, this is a winter crop of lettuce. Look at it go. I mean, wow. That goes a long ways too. I made your salad out of like five pieces. Yeah, I should just grow all my lettuce in here. And I'm not sure what this is going to do. It seems, yeah, it seems to be doing okay. This is a, a Serrano uh, that wintered over all of these funny looking things. Um, if they don't do better soon, um, they will be replaced with a new plant because I need to have some Serranos. And this Ricotto is going crazy, but I also just noticed. Oh. It's getting something. Yeah, it looks like aphids. Aphids. Oh, great. Whoops. And I've got some spray for that. So I will be back out here shortly to take care of that. Got a couple more kale if we need them somewhere. <laughs> and uh, this is, you know, we've been using this as a nursery. So we've got a lot of little plants left. Uh, we'll see what we do with them. Um, some of these love in the mist we didn't have anywhere else. We've got a few more snapdragons. I don't know where they're going to go. But yeah. We'll see. There's, there's two snapdragons here. And then, so out here. Like no, the noisy <laughs> yeah. spinner. Out here, the uh, lemon tree, it, uh, it was doing great. It was full of lemons, and then all of a sudden, it just crapped out. So I don't know if it's dead or if it's gonna come back. It it's did something like this a couple of years ago when it was still in its little pot. And it came rushing back. I mean, it lost all its leaves and then it came rushing back and did great for a couple of years. So we'll see. It's been in the ground here for uh, less than a year now. And uh, it should be a nice spot. It should love it here, but apparently, I don't know, it doesn't. Here's a dahlia coming up here. More glads. These are more peas. Here's another one of the wonderful winter broccoli. This sit. We gotta eat that soon. And this one. Oh, look at that. A giant head. One bite. Yeah. That's funny because we've grown them when they were so giant before that it was like meals. I think we've got a couple that are gonna do that, but the, the winter ones, no. And here's more leeks. And they haven't even gotten big enough. I mean, we're gonna start eating these, but they're they're like green onion size. It's weird. And this jasmine is starting to put out some new uh, new growth. So it's it's all hopeful. And uh, that's the uh, garden tour as of May Day, 2021.